Hi everybody, I'm Barry Stokes, on camera anchor for the Fox Sports Outdoors television series, here today to help you understand the concept of trimming your outboard engine. First of all, let's talk about the reasons that you want to do that. First, for the smoothness of the ride, the more you can get the bow of the boat up off the water, make it ride back on the pad of the hull the way it was designed, the smoother that ride's going to be, get you up out of the chop. Secondly, for fuel efficiency. Again, the more you can decrease the drag on the hull and ride back on the pad of the hull, the better gas mileage and fuel efficiency you're going to get. Now, first of all, let me explain that when you first put the engine up on plane, you want to do that with the motor trimmed fully down. That'll be past vertical. That actually helps the bow of the hull dig into the water and jumps you up on plane for a quicker, what they call, whole shot. Now once you're up on plane, then you begin the process of trimming that outboard engine. You do that by, first of all, you can use the actual trim button that's on the throttle, or many dealers now have begun to install trim levers right near the steering wheel from a safety standpoint where you can keep both hands on the wheel but still trim at the same time. So let's jump this bad boy, my Mercury Optimax Pro XS250 up on pad, and then we'll explain trimming. Okay, that was as easy as that. Now, once we're up on pad, you begin either using the throttle button or the trim lever and slowly begin trimming it up until you feel that hull, that bow, begin to lift off the surface of the water. You can visually tell when that happens by watching the wake of the water that's being shed off the hull. And once that begins to go away, then you know you're riding back on the pad of the hull. Now, you don't ever want to trim that too high for a couple of reasons. First of all, you can actually begin to suck air into that engine and it'll overheat. So the way you keep from doing that and the way you know is by first of all quickly turning around and watching the telltale stream. They put that there for a reason so that you'll know when water is still being sucked up into the lower unit of the outboard engine. And then many dealers also install a gauge on the console. You can watch that gauge, contact your dealer so that you can know how much water pressure you need for your particular outboard engine and your particular setup and you can know that you're good to go and you're not trimming it up too high. Also you can tell by listening because if you get it too high it'll begin to what they call cavitate which means sucking air into that prop, into that lower unit and you'll actually lose traction in the water. Let's pull it back down off plane. And once again it is very important that whether you're a brand new boater or a very experienced boater, you need to understand the concepts of trimming and how to do that properly.